Hello and welcome to another Super 3 Boy Blender tutorial. Now, today we're going to be going over how to make a chessboard in Blender as suggested by one of the users on form.nistic.com. You can always go to form.nistic.com to receive any Blender help you need or just to show off your renders. And I actually have a topic which you can search for using the search bar here called running out of tutorial ideas where I let users suggest the next tutorials and that's exactly what this one is here someone suggested that I make a chessboard uh, for one of the tutorials and that's what I'm doing so um, also a little bit of news I'm making a blender DVD that's 20 bucks and it's going to be on making a character in Blender. So if you're interested in that, just send me a private message on Nistic, form.nistic.com, or on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. So I have Blender opened up over here, and I'm just going to click on it and open it up. And we have our default cube. Now, we're not going to use our default cube today. We're just going to hit X, Erase Selected Objects. Then we're going to hit Spacebar, Add, Mesh, Plane. I'm going to hit S, and I'm going to hit 5. So that's going to make that 5 times bigger. So now that we've done that, we actually want to hit Tab and go into Edit Mode. Subdivide a few times with W Subdivide. That looks just about good. Hit Tab. Or, excuse me, don't hit tab. Go down here to the face select mode, this little triangle thing. Click on that. Then we're going to hit A to deselect everything. And we're going to select every other face. I'm holding down shift and using the right mouse button to select these faces. So just follow along and start selecting every other face. And this is going to take just a minute of work selecting every other face not too long and there we go so after we have all the faces selected hit P and separate selected that will turn uh, the ones that we selected into another object and leaving our original object uh, with a bunch of kinda square holes in it so I'm going to select the one that we just made. Um, if you just select opposite faces, you're going to select the opposite object. So I'm going to select uh, one of them. I'm going to go down here to the Materials tab. And then I'm going to hit Add New. And as you can see, the color changed a little bit because the color is a bit different by default. And we're just going to make this black. So we're going to put all the sliders to zero, as you can see here. If you look up here, black. Look in the preview window, black. And then we're going to select the other object, which should be gray, and hit Add New ob uh, Material. Then we're simply going to hit Shadeless. That gets rid of the shading, so it actually turns white in this, instead of staying gray if you actually uh, turned it white. So now we have uh, our basic chessboard. But if you look at it, it's kind of flat. Eh, kind of don't want that. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take whatever object you have selected now, hit Tab, hit A to select them all, hit the E key to s extrude, and then just type in negative 0.2. And that's going to give it a little depth, see on that white one there. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with the black. We're going to right click to select it. We're going to edit mode. Uh, everything's already selected. So I can just hit E, region, extrude, uh, Z key, and then negative 0.2. So if you look at that now, you have a nice little uh, chessboard that only took, what, four minutes to make. So let's go ahead and preview this with our camera. As you can see, it's a little bit too big for the camera. We want to see everything. So I'm going to hit hold shift, select the black tile, 
and the Y tile, hit the S key, and make it fit within this camera portion here. So I'm going to hit Render, Render Current Frame, and there we go. We got a nice, simple chessboard uh, that took four minutes to make, and it looks just fine. You can add different things to it, uh, going through the other tutorials. Uh, you can add some reflection so it looks more... You can make like a glass board or a marble looking board. Just by playing with the ray mirror, ray transparency, and things down over here in mirror transparency. So, you can have a little fun with this. Uh, I suggest you just play around with those mirror transparencies over here um, and just make it look how you want it. I would also suggest uh, trying out the UV uh, UV texturing tutorial if you haven't looked at that already. And try adding a, maybe a table under it and maybe a room and texture that all up and I you'll get a pretty good render. So that's it for this, this short tutorial on how to make a chessboard in Blender. So have fun, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.